Today, James Atherton of Austin, Texas messaged me and he said, and I quote, Hey Dave, I know there at Bar Patrol you have the Bluetooth scale for weighing bottles, but I'm wondering, is it really that much more accurate than point counting? That is a fantastic question. Thanks, James. You are a giant peach. Let me show you the vast difference between point counting and weighing bottles during inventory. And by the way, how are the rest of you doing? I'm Dave Allred, The Real Barman, founder of Bar Patrol Inventory App, which just happens to be the best bar inventory app for independent bars and restaurants. And I might be a bit biased on that, so you'll have to be the judge for yourself. Okay, in the meantime, if you're still counting inventory the old school way, you should be whipped with licorice sticks until you are sweet, red, and sticky because having an inventory system is faster, it's more accurate, and it's gonna help save you a boatload of money on overpours. Okay, let me show you what you're dealing with when it comes to point counting. Let's start with some of the challenges that you have with point counting. And for this, I'm gonna play you some of the footage from a video I shot a couple of years ago in my bar showing the difficulties that come with point counting because it provides a good visual of what I'm talking about. So let's talk about some of the challenges of point counting. Uh, you take inventory a lot, you probably know some of them, but maybe you don't think about them consciously. Uh, first of all, when you're point counting, if you have more than one person doing it, my point six is gonna be different from your point six. So there's margin of error right off the bat if you've got two people doing it. Uh, if you have something like kettle one, you know, at least you have a ballpark chance of getting getting it somewhat close. You know, it's a perfect cylinder. Uh, you can see through the bottle, but even then your margin of error is probably gonna be pretty high. But now let's take a look at some of the more challenging bottles because this is where the problems start to occur and the margin of error really skyrockets. How much is that? Is that point, point one five, point two five? Shit, I don't know. Is that, what the? F Hello, how much is in there? Some of these inventory app companies, you know the ones with little sliders go up and down? You know who I'm talking about. When you ask them, how do I point count the ones I can't see through? They ask you to use a flashlight. What am I, an electrician now? Yeah, I'll tell you right now, that doesn't work. So for our last two bottles, let's look at Classe Azul and Don Julio 1942 Tequila. All right, you got no chance with this bottle. Can't see anything, it's heavy. Uh, you could be off by like 0.3 in this, which means you're gonna be off about $80 retail. This is 20 bucks a shot. Don Julio 1942, yeah, you can see through it. You can see the liquid, but with this fat bottom and this skinny top, how are you supposed to factor that in? All right, thanks me. All right, here's the truth. Weighing bottles with something like the Bluetooth scale has a narrow one to 2% margin of error because we have the exact bottle weights for thousands of brands. Point counting, on the other hand, has a 10 to 12% margin of error because it's based on each person's opinion on how much is left in the bottle. Okay, not to mention the opaque bottles we just talked about like Bailey's and Kahlua and the odd shaped bottles like 1942. Okay, and 10% is a lot when it comes to margin of error. Okay, that's gonna cause your sitting inventory numbers to be way off. All right, not to mention, you can't spot check your bartenders to see how they're pouring with the point counting method. It's worthless. Okay, now you might be asking, how does the scale know how much liquid is inside the bottle if different bottles have different weights? Well, we've taken care of that. At Bar Patrol, we have a tear weight list of a few thousand bottle weights, so it knows the exact bottle weight of the brand that's being weighed. Okay, and when you take your first inventory, a blueprint is created inside the app memorizing the order of your bottles on your shelves and in your rails. Okay, that means when the next bottle and order pops up in the app, you simply grab that bottle, for instance, tank array, and you place it on the scale. The weight is then sent straight to the app, and all you have to do is hit enter. Okay, now, some people also ask us if we have a scanner. No, we do not. And I've personally taken thousands of inventories back when I used to do full-time inventory audits for bars, and I've used scanners. All right, but the simple fact is that they're inconvenient, they're costly, they can break, and they're actually slower to use than our blueprint method. So no, we don't use scanners because scanners are lame. All right, and if you're pro scanner, I apologize if that offends you. All right, so I know that this battle between point counting and weighing seems a bit insignificant, and in the grand scheme of things, like if we're talking about the earth 
soaring through space as it orbits the sun, that kind of grand scheme, then maybe it is. But when it comes to tracking your inventory, it's not. Okay, if you have a large margin of error and you're counting, your sitting inventory counts are going to be way off, which is bad for your business. Okay, not to mention, when you weigh your bottles and your inventory system is able to track variants, you're able to spot check your bartenders to find out exactly how much each of them are overpouring, which saves you a ton of money. All right, I hope that all makes sense. Thanks to uh, James Atherton out there in Austin, Texas. That's my Western accent. Um, I hope this brings a little clarity for those of you thinking about getting a quality inventory system, which is going to save you a boatload of time and money. All right, thanks for hanging out with me today. I am going to see you next time. I'm out.